Welcome to another interesting video on trigonometric identities. Here we have selected two questions which are from previous test papers. One of them is extremely difficult. I would like you to watch the video, understand the strategy. In case you want to learn from me, you can always join my classes and enjoy the journey of success. You can send an email on the address given to join my classes. Let's begin with the lesson now. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll discuss a trigonometric identity, which is a difficult question for students to begin with. In case you need help from me, you can always send an email on the address given. The identity which you need to prove is right before you. You can pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Tan x over 1 minus cotangent x plus cot x over 1 minus tan x equals to 1 plus secant x cosecant x. That's the identity which you need to prove. Have a good look at it. Decide about the strategy. And then look into the solution. We have another challenge question which is right here before you. It looks similar, but I have put it under the category of challenge questions. It is indeed a very difficult question. 1 plus cos x plus sin x divided by 1 plus cos x minus sin x equals to cos x over 1 minus sin x. So once you do the first question, you may try the second one and see how do we prove this identity. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Now let's look into the first question, which is tan x over 1 pi 1 minus cot x plus cot x over 1 minus tan x equals to 1 plus secant x cosecant x. Now there could be many different ways of solving this question. However, I thought of a simple approach and that is to write tan x as a ratio of sine and cosine, right? So we can replace tan x by sin x over cosine x and that should help us to prove this identity. It might take a bit longer but definitely it will give us a solution. So if there is a problem in thinking about a strategy that is a straight one right there. Let's try this. So the question now can be written as what? So the numerator is sin x over cosine x and then we have 1 minus reciprocal of tan which is cos x over sin x, right? We need to add to this cotangent which is cos x over sin x over 1 minus tan x which is sin x over cosine x. So that becomes the left hand side. So we are beginning from the left hand side and we'll prove that this is equal to the right hand side. Now let's take the common denominators. So what do we get? We can bring this cos x also there. So we can write this as sin x over cos x. So that is the numerator. As far as the denominator is concerned, we could write this as what? We have sin x minus cos x. Let me write on this side since I will need more space there. So let's write like this. So we have sin x over cos x. So we have reduced the number of layers, right? We have four layers of fractions here. 
So writing it on the side really helps. And in this part, if I cross multiply, we get sine x minus cos x. And this denominator, sine x can now be written in the numerator. Is this point clear to you? Perfect. Now, similarly, let's do the other one, which is cos x over sine x. And we get the common denominator of cosine x, which goes here. So, we get cos x minus sine x over cos x. So, we have resolved the fractions. You can clearly see that in the denominator, we have a common factor. Now, see this part, sine x minus cos x, and this is cos x minus sine x. So, this is like negative of that. You get the idea? So, what we could do is that we could write this as, well, the numerator here is sine square x. And in the denominator, we have cos x times sine x minus cos x. Now, in this side, we have cos square x. And in the denominator, we have sine x. Now, if I want to reverse this, right, I want to write this as sine x minus cos x. Then the sine changes. Do you see that? So, that is why I am putting the sine negative because I am flipping this over. So, what I have done here is written cos x minus sine x as equals to minus of sine x minus cos x. Is that clear to you? So, that is how we get the same thing and this minus gets there. Now, we have a common denominator which is sine x cos x and sine x minus cos x. You get the idea. So, we can now write down a common denominator. Let us go further. So, we have sine x cos x times sine x minus cosine x perfect. And then, when you multiply, you get sine cube x minus cos cube x. Perfect. So, we get difference of cubes in the numerator. Perfect. So, we have difference of cubes in the numerator and the denominator is product of sine and cosine times difference of sine and cosine. Correct. So, let us continue from here uh, into the solution part. So, we can now write this, what we just got as difference of cubes. So, we have sine cube x minus cos cube x divided by product of sine x cos x difference of sine x cos x. Is that clear to you? Now, what is a cube minus b cube? Well, you should know this formula, right? So, the formula I will write down for you is a cube minus b cube. This can be factored as a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square, correct? So, using this formula, I will actually factor the numerator and this, I can write this as sin x minus cos x over sin square x plus sin x cos x plus cos square x, correct? Divided by all this, which is sin x cos x times sin x minus cos x. Now, clearly you can see that we can cancel one of these factors, which is sin x minus cos x. And thereby, we can simplify our expression a bit. We have sin square x plus cos square x. Let me write them together. Plus sin x cos x. Over the product sin x cos x. As you know, 
sine square x plus cos square x is 1, we can now write this as 1 plus sin x cos x over the product sin x cos x, correct? So, clearly, this is equal to 1 over sin x cos x plus sin x cos x over sin x cos x, correct? Now, the left one is secant x cosecant x plus 1 and that is equal to the right hand side. Is that clear to you? So, that is how we can actually prove this particular identity. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. You can go through these steps. Here is the type solution for you. Uh, some steps have uh, reduced just to fit in one page. So, let us go back to this strategy. So, basically what we did was to begin with, we wrote tan x as equal to the ratio of sine and cosine, right? And then we simplified all these expressions. Now, in this portion, I showed you a technique of writing this four layers of fractions as just two layers. You get the idea? Otherwise, you could follow like this as normally is being done. Right. So, if you look into my solution, then you will realize that this particular step here is a very critical step. It like simplifies the solution, correct? And then you have difference of cubes and knowing the formula for difference of cubes helps, which is a cube minus b cube equals to a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square, right? And once you do that, you see these common factors getting cancelled. And then, you know this sum, sin square x plus cos square x is 1, and therefore, we get our result. So, I hope these steps are absolutely clear. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. And uh, now, I think it is time for you to solve the challenge question. Perfect. So, make an attempt and see if you can solve it. Uh, let me know if there is a difficulty. Thanks for your time and all the best.